Okay, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the second part of Physics 20, Lesson 3, I want to talk about kinetic energy. <coughs> P sub K. Now, you throw a ball or my personal favorite, shoot a rubber band, what happens? I can kind of deliberately shoot you. No, you do your homework. You're going to shoot somebody who doesn't do the homework. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry. So if I don't do my homework, they shoot it at me? Well, it's only 60 rounds. Figure something out. All right, now, so you throw a ball, you shoot a rubber band. Actually, with the camera going, let's say I throw a ball. What happens? Well, the ball moves. Gains kinetic energy. It wasn't moving, then it is moving. So I say where I come from, catch. Now, if that's the happens, the question is how. Now, I'm going to take about a minute and a half, two minutes, to derive this formula for you. If you want to copy this out, great. If you don't want to copy it out, great. Just shush while I waste the next minute and a half of your life. Now, work is force times distance. And velocity final, sorry, velocity final squared, velocity initial squared plus 2AD. So when I throw the ball, the initial is zero, so I'm just looking at four, I am just looking at v final. Now, I also can rearrange this force times distance. Um, oh, I'm sorry, f net equals ma. I need that also. A equals f net over mass. So if I have acceleration, I can substitute it into here. The final squared equals 2 two times the net force divided by mass times distance. You are going, whatever. It's Mr. Sutton doing more mathy stuff. Woohoo! Not. So as I said, <coughs> now rearranging this, divide this by two, multiply this by mass, two mass, I get force net times distance one-half mv final squared. Now, force times distance is what? Formula 4? Well, it's work, which is energy. Change, or technically, change in energy, in this case energy kinetic, change in one-half mv squared. So one half mv squared, sorry. So, or I believe on your formula sheet, energy kinetic is one half mv squared is the way they write it. So, going on here, the energy of motion depends on the mass and the velocity squared. So, let's do a few examples. So, I'm driving to Edmonton, let's make it Grand Prairie, I, I, I prefer Grand Prairie to Edmonton. So I'm driving to Grand Prairie, I've got my toaster up 
all the way up to a velocity of 90 kilometers an hour. It's what I call my little car. I have better names for it, but the tape is running. It's being recorded. So, And I'm holding a 400 gram 0.4 kilogram cup of coffee. Woohoo! I hit, I hit Valley View. I got the big cup of coffee from Timmy's, and I'm happy, and I'm cruising down the highway. And you can listen to the hamster freak out as I floor it, getting up to 90 kilometers an hour in the car. Did you see the I don't. That's the motor. Oh. <laughs> yes. I stop in Valley View, wind up the rubber band really tight so I can go fast for a few kilometers down the divided highway. Can you do three times? I'd like to, but we just haven't got. Well, it takes too much time away from the catapults. Yes. Anyway, it is cool, but maybe it's a bonus assignment. Anyway, so here I am, blowing down the highway at 90 kilometers an hour in 120, 110 zone. So, what's the E sub K of my cup of coffee relative to me? Trick question. I'm holding the cup of coffee. Woohoo! Going down the highway. What's the what is the kinetic energy of the cup of coffee relative to me? Zero. Why zero? Yes. Relative to me, velocity of coffee is zero. E sub k would be zero. I don't even want to try calculating it. Now. What is it relative to the fellow I blow by on the highway? I don't know. Relative to some guy. Somebody, how did I word that? To someone standing on the road. I thought I'd ever throw a cup of coffee. I have had it bounce out of my hand. It gets rather hot and painful. Anyway, so what is it relative? What's the kinetic energy relative to someone standing on the road? So once again, the energy depends on where you are and who, what you're measuring against. So the fellow standing by the side of the road as I blow by at 90 kilometers an hour with the hamster screaming. <laughs> yeah, so are you seeing that little tiny poop box I drive? My, my daughter's car? Yes. <laughs> Shoebox, wheels, has a trunk. Isn't it green? No. It's silver. Silverish. Well, I don't know the color. It's too dirty. Anyway, so E sub K So what's the mass of my cup of coffee? 0.4 kilos. What is the velocity of my coffee? Angel, I can tell you if I already calculated, what is the velocity of my coffee? True. But in standard SI calculations, I have to turn it into? So divide by 3.6, I get 25 squared. It's supposed to be square. So what's my energy kinetic? Everybody calculate it for me, please. Sorry? 125 joules, that's it? Okay. Okay. more questions. Going on? Baba?
So Bob is driving a 300 kilogram quad. It's got 49,000 joules of energy kinetic. What's his velocity? Outside of, he really shouldn't be driving in that fast. Now, a couple of things. That many, I believe you. Uh, guys, listen up. When we get into joules and thousands of stuff, I'll often abbreviate this as 49 kilojoules, 49,000 joules. So be careful of that abbreviation. Anyway, what's the formula? There's Bubba driving real fast. E sub k. So how do you solve it? So do you plug the numbers in first and solve, or do you rearrange and plug the numbers in and solve? Does it matter? No. I feel like rearranging it because I want to, just because I can. So the velocity squared is twice the kinetic energy divided by the mass. So Ryan, grab Mr. Calculator and help me out here. What's V squared? V squared is 326. Sorry? 326.6. So what's his velocity? Now, we don't normally measure, we, sorry, in the lab, in the classroom, we measure velocity meters per second. How's Bubba going to be measuring this? Our times 3.6 is how many kilometers an hour? I don't know. You better tell me. 65. 65 kilometers an hour. Can you get a quad to go 65 kilometers an hour safely? Safe. So, it, it's, so Bubba's going a smidge fast? A tad. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> Remember the speech I gave JJ? I'm doing the paramedic stuff now, so I'll probably be the first one there. Do you really want to be looking up seeing me? <laughs> True. True. Yeah. And in a little while, I'll explain how you're sure it's about the color of fresh human brains, but anyway. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Okay, so one last question for you guys. So far, so good? Okay, so what is change in kinetic energy of a 1,200 kilogram car? No, wait a minute. Ah, my shoe box doesn't weigh that. It's like 985 kilograms. Yeah, you've seen it, four wheels, a hunchback, yeah. That's, let's just make it meters a second. Two twenty-five meters a second. Now, copy out the question because there's a trick to this, and I promise you, you're going to see it. What is the trick? Well, as soon as you copy out the question, nope. <laughs> 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 All right, my shoebox, speeding up. <laughs> so, yes, you draw a picture, there it is. So, remember, it's change in kinetic energy. So that's EK final minus EK initial. <coughs> final minus initial is change. What's the formula? MV final squared minus 1 half MV initial squared. What can you factor out? And a half. But notice it's not 25 minus 10, 15 squared. It's 25 squared minus 10 squared. So many people go, oh, 25 minus 10 is 15, and go 15 squared in here. It's not. It's 25 squared minus 10 squared, which is a big difference. 
Anyway. Now you can factor out the m if you want, I don't care. But you all have calculators. One half. What was the point of my shoebox? 985. So what's 25 squared? Let's see if we can cancel them out. No, we can factor it out. We can't cancel it out. Only fa cancel it's on both sides of the equation. So what is 25 squared? What's 10 squared? Four hundred and ninety two point five kilograms times anyway, what's the answer? Twenty five eighty five point six. Twenty five eighty five point six joules. That I believe. Now I'm running out of space, I should should I should show that. Don't care. Now, somebody will do that. 25 minus 10 is what? 15. What's 15 squared? 225. What's 225 times half 985? The wrong answer, which is? 110,000? Oh, hang on. No, I don't think this answer is right. Yeah, it's 258,000. 258, sorry? 560 something about that. All right, sorry. That makes more sense. Sorry. That's a better number. Can't do this in my head anymore. If you did just 15, you're getting the wrong answer. Difference of squares. Now, I'm done. Finish that worksheet. If you get it done early, you can work on your catapults. <laughs>